I'm gonna demonstrate how um, the loading, the capacity, the stock capacity, um, as I got it, and um, some function and handling as of the, as of the shotgun. So first, I'm gonna check if it's safe. Nothing in. Nothing in. Nothing in the tube. Nothing in the tube. Don't believe me. It locks. It locks when it's not loaded. Alright. And we put in shells. We're gonna test the capacity of the tube right out of the box. I put in the extended one. So let's see how many it takes. So we put in one. Two. These are two and three quarter inch shells. Three. There you go. Four. Five. Whoa. That won't go any further. So it's five. I may have to modify something here so I get the two extra shells. Because right now it ain't it ain't going in further. Ugh. So we're gonna test cycling function and any problems with this out of the box. Just do things pop out of the loading gate or anything like that. So let's test it out. Now uh, these are live live rounds, but you know I'm gonna put the safety on. Safety on. All right. You heard that rack back. That was the shell popping out from the magazine tube down to the gate under. Now you can see that shell under there. It's gonna load in when I release the bolt. Okay. Pops out, fine. Loads properly. Let's try it sideways. Okay, ejection. Then pop out. Probably because I didn't pull hard enough. Loads again. Pops out. Hit the camera, nothing popped out. Loads fine. Alright. Continuation. You know, let's do upside down even if you want. Pops out. Loads the other one. Pops out. Locks open in the last one. Alright. So far so good. Bolt locks back when there's no more round in the tube or anywhere else. So that's how it functions. Now, for those people who have um, mysterious problems with their ACAR popping out shells from the bottom when they rack it back and then something flies out right there, a tip that I was told um, is when you load in a shell in your shotgun, make sure you press up, put it in, all the way until it clicks fully in and make sure that the gate is fully down when it's stuck up in a position or if the shell isn't fully locked in and it's chambered or when you pull back the bolt there's a chance that when you pull it back there when that shell pops back and the gate isn't secure or the shell wasn't secure it's gonna fly right from the bottom and you're gonna get that problem so just a tip that I was told alright guys shoot safe now I've switched out the, the magazine extension for the shorter one just to test its stock capacity also now the capacity of this shortened one maybe 5.2 I'm gonna test it in front of your eyes 
Alright. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Now I may have to modify something at the end of the cap in order to get me extra rounds for this extension. Alright. Thanks. Now for you guys who want a tip on how to unload your magazine tube when it's filled up without having to pull back this bolt, there is a button on the left side right behind that shell which retains it press down on it and it's gonna pop out alright so here to demonstrate here push down on this side shell will pop right out here on this side push it right behind the shell it's gonna pop right out thanks so a final overview of what you get, the Acker Alpe competition, you get the semi-auto shotgun 12 gauge with a 24 inch barrel, you get the extended magazine tube which I have to figure out, a sling, manual, chokes, you get that's just a cap for the bolt handle, that's about it. Alright guys, if you got any more questions or if there's anything else you want to know about the Acker Alte competition or any related topic feel free to shout out or ask your questions I'll do my best to answer them alright thanks guys now for those of you guys wondering where to get it um, you can try Akula Arms in Artigas just look for Sir Woodrow or Mam Angel um, you can even tell them that Martin recommended you there. I hope they remember. Um, you could also try PB Dionisio and um, Don Alejandro Rosas. So that's in Quezon City. Yeah, you can look for Mam Tere Teresa. I hope she remembers me too. Um, just say Martin. Because, yes, um, I've, I've been there several times already. So, it's really not that hard actually to acquire. The basic, very basic requirements are your age, 21 years or older, and that you are a Filipino citizen. As long as you have those, everything else is. It's all, it's all good. If you need any help, any more information, Feel free to ask me. I'd be glad to help out. So, hope this helps you guys. And, no guys, I wasn't paid to do this. I just really want to help out the community. So, you know, I, I really hope this helps you guys. So, thanks for your appreciation.